Now on 4 News Now at 6, a brawl at Riverfront Park right in the middle of the day. What one family says they're now doing after witnessing this fight. It's going to be a warm, dry, and hazy 4th of July. I'll let you know if wildfire smoke will impact your holiday plans in the first alert forecast. Thousands of fireworks are being set up tonight. We'll give you a behind the scenes look at the work and what goes into lighting up the skies above Riverfront. News now at 6. A carnival meant to be fun for families turned into a scary situation over the weekend at Riverfront Park. You're looking at a video sent to us by a viewer. This shows a large group of teens who were fighting one girl and adults who tried to break up the fight but were attacked themselves. The fight has families questioning their safety in the park and they say no police showed up. It's been an ongoing issue for months. Back in April, Police Chief Craig Meidel said there were packs of teens roaming downtown attacking people. Vanessa Prez is live at the park and has how one family says this experience is keeping them out of downtown from here on out. Well, this is a place for fun and games here at the carnival, but that quickly changed on Saturday. The family I spoke to had plans to come back down to Riverfront Park and watch the 4th of July fireworks, but since they experienced what they did here, they're changing those plans. Here we go. Carnival fun turned into violence Saturday evening. Looking around and hoping nobody was behind us and trying to hold on to my daughter who likes to run around because she's two and wanted to go to the playground. So I was scared for me and my family. The shavers were out enjoying their time eating dinner with their toddler. And then out of nowhere, we heard this huge brawl and there was um, teenagers fighting, a big group of teenagers, probably about 20. And two of them were on top of a one girl just pounding her. That's when a dad tried to break up the fight, but he was then attacked by teenage boys and thrown into the bushes. The shavers say some other people tried to also help the girl, but kept getting attacked by the teens. So after, you know, about an hour, me and my husband left and we saw one of the girls walking around with an older woman carrying a metal baseball bat, just going through the carnival and no one stopped or said anything. So we're like, okay, let's, you know, head out of here. Surprised at the lack of police presence at an event like this. Two park rangers came by when the teens were gone. They were shown a video and left in the direction the teens went, but never came back. The soon to be family of four is now staying away from downtown and switching up their 4th of July plans. Now, I did reach out to the Spokane Police Department about this fight, but I have not heard anything back since. Uh, park management says it's made several improvements over the last couple of months, having park rangers patrol 24 hours. It's using every effort to deter these teens from committing violence, even though those improvements have been made. It says there's always more it can do to keep people safe. Live from Riverfront Park, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now. Vanessa, thank you. It's going to be a warm and dry weekend. And we also have some wildfire smoke coming down from Canada. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker to see if that will impact our air quality. Well, the air quality should stay in fairly good shape. A lot of this smoke is coming in in higher levels of the atmosphere. That said, we may get into the moderate range, particularly tomorrow morning on the 4th. Here's a look at our fire and smoke. These fires have been burning since May up in parts of British Columbia and Alberta. A northerly flow over the region is bringing some of that smoke into the inland northwest with more expected overnight through tomorrow morning. Now, right now, our air quality in Spokane is in the good range. Our air quality throughout the entire state of Washington and Idaho and North Idaho is in the good range. But that could, as I mentioned, get into that moderate uh, range. And you will notice the haze on the horizon, particularly as we get closer to sunset and in the morning. Temperatures right now running right about average. 80 in Coeur d'Alene, 81 in Spokane, upper 70s in Colville, Bonnersbury, Sandpoint, and Pullman. Very, very nice conditions. Summery weather. We're going to be about 5 degrees warmer across the region tomorrow for the 4th of July. Still in the 80s, but starting to heat up, and that is just the beginning. In the meantime, enjoy a beautiful evening with a spectacular sunset thanks to a little bit of wildfire smoke in the air. We'll 
be in the 70s still at 9 o'clock, 65 degrees at 11. I'll be back with your fireworks forecast and a very hot seven-day outlook. Kirsten? Thank you, Chris. Well, 4th of July travels in full swing. The TSA says it screened over 2 million people on Friday alone, and that is the highest the agency has ever recorded in a single day. If you're hitting the road, you're getting a slight break at the pump with prices in Spokane County dropping 5 cents since last week. We said slight break. <laughs> According to AAA, right now you can expect to pay around four seventy dollars a gallon. Prices are better in Kootenai County, about $4.08 a gallon. A local fire department is also sending out another reminder that the use of any fireworks is illegal in certain areas in Spokane County. The Spokane Valley Fire Department is patrolling neighborhoods right now, saying the illegal use of fireworks can result in a $536 fine for each violation. Instead of buying and using the fireworks, the department recommends you visit local fireworks shows. Well, tomorrow night, fireworks will light at the sky here in Spokane for the annual 4th of July celebrations in Riverfront Park. And today, 4 News Now's Natalie Grant got an inside look at the setup and what people can expect if they're going to enjoy the show. Before the fireworks light off from Riverfront Park on the 4th of July, a lot of planning, prepping, and organization has to happen. On Monday, setup began with a team placing mortar tubes and eventually fireworks all in a specific order to coordinate with the show. Now this team here have been the ones setting off Spokane's fireworks for the last 10 years, making this setup process a well-oiled machine. They know exactly what they're doing. I mean, this they, they run the fireworks on a timed um, schedule. They, they have a whole production that they use. So there are, um, you know, there's really no mistakes in their production. Everything is planned. Jill Reeves with Riverfront Park says the attention to detail and the great result is what keeps this team of pros coming back year after year. She hopes people are able to come out and enjoy the show instead of risking it and lighting off their own at home. Here, we're able to implement a lot of safety um, procedures and precautions. Um, we're, we're really close to the river. We're close to these green spaces that are watered regularly. So, I mean, we're able to mitigate a lot of the fire hazard that might uh, be present in other areas. Safety precautions like having Spokane Fire Department on scene, just in case a firework turns into a fire. It normally does every year, and we're able to stop those very quickly. Even we have people uh, down range from where they're being fired off to make sure that those fires are extinguished. Plus, we've got firefighter paramedics in the crowd and amongst all the people, just in case we do have any medical problems. But in all, it should be a fun night of celebration. Come early. Um, there's lots of green space to sit and set up and watch the fireworks um, with family. It starts at 10 p.m. Reporting in Spokane, Natalie Grant. 4 News Now. Still ahead, the search for the person responsible for killing two people and injuring dozens more in Baltimore. The latest on the investigation ahead. Plus, the wildfire that burned nearly 30 acres near Cheney didn't harm any of the homes, but Washington Department of Natural Resources wants you to be ready for wildfires. Now, coming up, tips to keep your home safe from these wildfires. Four News Now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Live with Kelly and Mark every weekday morning. Fred's 4th of July sale is on now. Get the best buy of the year on Samsung laundry sets. Fred's has this Samsung laundry set marked down to only $7.29 each. Save $400 on the set. Or save 30% on this Samsung front load laundry set. Fred's has front load laundry sets in stock and on sale. Nobody has the selection you'll see with one stop at Fred's Appliance. Fred's 4th of July sale is on now. You don't want to miss this sale. People who come to the Inland Northwest rave about its beauty. For those of us who live and work here, we couldn't agree more. From its iconic history to a ton of new beginnings, we have farm-to-table roots and access to nature right at our back door. And as a community member, BECU wants to honor those who work together to make life better for our region. Join us for the premier food and drink celebration, Crave, at the Spokane Valley Center Place, July 13th through the 15th. Proudly sponsored by BECU. Alabama Roll On North America Tour presented by Kenworth. July 6th, Spokane Arena with very special guest, the Marshall Tucker Band. Alabama, live. All your favorite songs from the greatest country band of all time. Roll on, daddy, till you get back home. 
On sale now at ticketswest.com. Produced by Outback Presents. Been to the Sweet Palace before? Then it's time to come back and look for your favorite. Palace in Phillipsburg. It's the world's greatest candy store. Come see us. Hot tub, hot tub, hot tub. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2023 inventory. Today and tomorrow. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2023 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. An update on the brush fire burning near Cheney yesterday. The Department of Natural Resources says crews are mopping up hot spots. The fire burned 30 acres in rocky terrain. DNR wants you to be ready for wildfires by checking the fire risk around your home. There are simple things we can all do right now to protect our homes from wildfires. Our Peter Choi shares those tonight. All of a sudden we heard a big boom and then 15 minutes after that smoke started rising up. Seeing a wildfire a couple miles away from his house, a homeowner Keith Merrill says the wildfire is always worrisome this time of year. A lot of the land out here is dry and weedy and um, not really farmable. You know, the farmable land you can kind of take care of by putting barriers around it and, and you have a lot of green low areas. But the rest of it, you know, on a windy day, the fire can roll across pretty fast. And thankfully, that wildfire that burned nearly 30 acres near Cheney didn't harm any of homes. But Washington Department of Natural Resources says the homeowners should prepare for wildfires, especially if you live in less populated areas outside the city. A fire happens, it creates a lot of uplift or a lot of heat and this rises in the air and drifts and gets blown over a mile away to land around your structures like that. Guy Gifford with the Department of Natural Resources says the key is removing potential fire hazard around your home and you can start with your garage door. They're putting in a seal that will keep the embers out and they just need to continue putting the seal down here and that will prevent embers from getting inside their garage. Make sure to get rid of dry debris, twigs and leaves under trees and plants, most importantly inside gutters. Because these are right under the roof, it can start the roof on fire. He says putting non-burnable material like rocks around your house can also prevent the fire from spreading. And potting soil can be fueled to fire. The embers can actually start this on fire because it's actually um, peat moss or coconut base, so it has a lot of burnable material on it. The department says the homeowners are asked to contact DNR for a fire risk assessment service. You can find more information on our website, kxly.com. Reporting near Cheney, Peter Choi, 4 News Now. A Yakima man will spend three and a half years in prison, four years after being busted in a child sex crime ring. Kendrick Yallop Little Bull was convicted of conspiracy to commit child molestation. Washington State Patrol says he responded to an online posting by an undercutter detective in 2019 who pretended to be the mother of two girls that was looking for something, quote, taboo for them. They say he showed up to an agreed upon address with the intent of having sex with girls under the age of 12. Yallop Little Bull was one of 16 men arrested in the Net Nanny operation in 2017. About two months ago, the city of Spokane began enforcing a new ordinance, making open drug use in public spaces a gross misdemeanor. And since then, Spokane police have made over 100 arrests. We talked to two businesses near the House of Charity, including the Reclaim Project's used furniture store. They say the drug problem downtown seems to be getting better, but it's still something they deal with every day. It's just a constant problem with the fentanyl use down here and the people come down here and they just trash everything. We'll dive further into what these businesses are seeing, what they hope the new ordinance will do for them, and what police realistically think it'll do for the drug problem downtown. That's in a special report from Derek Dice Wednesday on Good Morning Northwest. 
We have a fire weather warning in effect for the Okanagan Valley, Waterville Plateau, and the Western Columbia Basin until 11 o'clock tonight. It's the combination of breezy conditions, 25 mile per hour gusts in Moses Lake right now, 18 mile per hour gusts in Pullman, and very dry conditions across the region. No sign of rain in the seven day forecast in Spokane. I'll let you know where we may see some showers and thunderstorms after the break. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Horizon Credit Union, proud sponsor of the Extreme Team. This is the beautiful Nissan Rogue. Check it out. Futuristic front, spacious interior, and a functional rear hatch. But beauty is only part of why we know you'll love this SUV. There's a full package of advanced technology, a customizable digital 12-inch dashboard, the parking split screen, and check this, Wi-Fi connections for up to seven devices. The Nissan Rogue is a great SUV, and our friendly dealership is a great place to test drive one. Just off Highway 95, Coeur d'Alene Nissan. What's in a name? A question that has never had more relevance. First American Title has been rebranded to Flying S, Title and Escrow. Since 1905, we've been helping people protect their property rights. When the time comes to choose a title insurance and escrow company, the choice is clear. Flying S, Title and Escrow. Idaho's longest operating, family-owned Title and Escrow company is now Flying S, Title and Escrow. We're not new, but our name is. Ironstone Furniture and Fire's Made in America sale is returning July 2nd through the 14th. American-made brands like Bassett, Paul Robert, and more are on sale now. Visit our showroom for high-quality products crafted with American pride. Ironstone Furniture and Fire in Coeur d'Alene. God, make this stop. This dinosaur just passed out. Uh-oh. Ah, she gonna be all right. New Wednesday, Patty LaBelle guest stars. Who would have thought that my beautiful daughter-in-law would be in my choir? My mother favors you over everyone, other than Jesus, maybe. Your grandmother is a monster. Where am I? If Jesus hadn't already died for your sins, that last number would have killed him. Where are the most beautiful Main Streets in America? This week, GMA's popping up live on Main Streets across the country, filled with the best shops and local charm. And just wait until you see the surprises we have. So, will we be near you this week on Good Morning America? I was just noticing on the Coeur d'Alene Skycam how quiet I-90 is. I guess everybody's gotten to where they need to be for the 4th of July and are ready for some fun. It's 80 degrees and sunny right now in Coeur d'Alene, 81 in Spokane, where it is also very, very quiet in downtown Spokane. Your forecast for tonight, mostly clear skies, 54 degrees for an overnight low. You may notice the sunset looks extra red as we are bringing in that Canada wildfire smoke. But again, it is aloft, not down at the surface at this point. Hazy sunshine tomorrow, 85 degrees with northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That's 5 degrees above average. We do have the possibility of some isolated thunderstorms tomorrow. Here is noon tomorrow, Tuesday, and you can see right up around Priest Lake into Boundary County, some isolated thunderstorm activity that extends into western Montana. Then it starts to dip down around Lake Pend Oreille into the Northeast Mountains, Colville, Republic. Uh, anything that we do see will be fairly isolated. Here's 5 o'clock tomorrow. Then by the time we're into fireworks, 9 o'clock will be mostly clear across the region. Maybe a lingering shower up in the mountains of northern Spokane County and southern Stevens County. Your forecast for fireworks hazy conditions. That's not going to interfere with the fireworks. 82 degrees at 7. It'll be 72 at 9 o'clock. Very comfortable. 67 degrees at 11 and winds generally light tomorrow for your fireworks weather. Overnight lows tonight. 
will be cooling down into the 40s in some of the outlying areas. Colville, Sandpoint, also Deer Park uh, will be down in the 40s. Priest Lake, 54 in Spokane and 53 in Coeur d'Alene, also in the 40s in St. Mary's and Pullman. Not bad sleeping weather there. And you can leave the windows open again. That smoke is coming in a loft may start to have an impact tomorrow morning, uh, taking us into the moderate range. Our high temperatures tomorrow in the 80s and 90s, 85 in Spokane, 84 degrees in Coeur d'Alene. We'll be at 94 in Lewiston, 92 in Moses Lake, and 92 in both Omac and Grand Coulee. Here's a look at your planning forecast. Hot 4th of July, 85, but then we warm up into the 90s for Thursday and Friday. 93 on Thursday would be our warmest day of the season so far. We've hit 91. That's it. We haven't had any extreme heat. We've had plenty of warm days, uh, but nothing too out of control. Knock on wood. 89 uh, on Saturday, Sunday, and then we're back up to 90 on Monday. Overnight lows in the seven-day forecast in the 50s and 60s. Aaron? Thank you, Chris. Around the nation, millions are facing severe weather from dangerous heat to thunderstorms and flash flooding. Parts of the Midwest getting drenched with nine inches of rain. Damaging winds and hail in Lexington, Kentucky, causing widespread power outages and major damage to homes like this one. In Chicago, residents walking through deep water, ditching their cars to escape the flooding. I went and then my car just started floating and I said, oh snap. So my first reaction is to escape from the car. I opened the door and water started flooding my feet. Many people also facing scorching heat from Oregon to North Carolina. 36 million Americans now under heat advisories or warnings. Some areas hitting triple digit temperatures. The Supreme Court ended a blockbuster term with several dramatic decisions that are likely to impact much of the country, especially higher education. From affirmative action to student debt relief, the new rulings are raising questions about the real world implications. CNN's Mike Valerio explains what these critical decisions could mean for you. As the proverbial dust settles around the United States Supreme Court following a contentious term, the immediate consequences for everyday Americans are becoming more clear. The Roberts Court these days is more eager to overturn older precedents than any court we've had at least probably in the last century. In striking down affirmative action programs at Harvard and the University of North Carolina, the court effectively determined colleges and universities can no longer expressly consider race in the admissions process. It prevents our higher education institutions from using a tool that helps promote diversity on campus. And while the court suggests the impact of an applicant's race in their life can still be taken into consideration, and proponents of ending affirmative action say it makes the process more fair, many fear diversity in higher education will suffer in the long term. I'm very concerned about the morale that that is going to have on our minority youth. For those who are already in or have gone to college, the court also struck down President Biden's student loan debt cancellation program, a win for Republican-led states and conservatives who claimed it was illegal. We're talking about 40 million Americans that are going to be crushed by debt in just a few months. As the administration works to find a new approach to debt relief, the three-year pause on loan repayment started during the pandemic is soon expiring. Borrowers will have to resume paying their federal student loans in October, with interest set to begin accumulating again in September. The White House says, however, it will offer a 12-month on-ramp period for borrowers who are re-entering payment. I'm Mike Valerio reporting. Coming up on 4 News Now, how regulators are fighting to stop fake reviews on Amazon and Google. Plus, how investigators are searching for shooters who killed two people and injured dozens more at a Baltimore block party. Download the 4 News Now app today. It's the Star Spangled 4th of July sale at Furniture Row. That's five days where the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus, get six years no interest. But hurry, the Star Spangled 4th of July sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Injured in a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck? Call Russell and Hill, Attorneys at Law, where real people with real injuries get real results. Injured in a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck? Get real results. Get Russell and Hill. They were at home near Sandpoint when George's wife Sue found him unresponsive and started CPR. Within minutes, he was airlifted to Kootenai Health because George was having a STEMI, the most serious type of heart attack. 
Fortunately, Kootenai Health is a level one STEMI center with state-of-the-art cardiac care. So, just 90 minutes after his heart attack, George woke up with a healed heart and a very happy wife. It's the biggest trading event in America, today through July 9th at Cal. This is your chance to trade in anything, and I mean anything. So you can upgrade to a better set of wheels by trading in the old for something better at Cal. Open drug use, outlawed in Spokane. I don't know if I'm being arrested. Sorry. Yeah, you're under arrest. But more than 100 arrests later, has anything changed? 4 News Now goes back on patrol with Spokane Police. Will the new law ever make a difference? And what is compassion really costing us? They use my loading dock as a restroom. What are cameras caught in just a few short hours? And that's, that's fentanyl you're smoking right now, yeah? Yes. Derek Dice reports Wednesday on Good Morning Northwest. Don't miss the $50,000 Sunday Hot Seats at Northern Quest. That's Sunday with an E on the end and a cherry on top. It's a play on words. July, Sunday, Hot Seats, you get the idea. And it's happening noon to 4 p.m. every Sunday with a Y in July. Don't overthink it. Just swipe your Camus card and be playing your favorite machine when your name is called. The $50,000 Sunday with an E Hot Seats. Every Sunday with a Y in July. Only at Northern Quest. It's the Star Spangled Fourth of July sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend, or check out the Summit for only two ninety nine ninety nine plus six years no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the Star Spangled Fourth of July sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. Four News Now is brought to you by Global Credit Union. Around the nation, police in Baltimore are still searching for the person responsible for a shooting at a block party, leaving two people dead and 28 injured. CNN's Ivan Rodriguez has the latest on the investigation. A beloved annual block party turned into a chaotic mass shooting early Sunday, killing 18-year-old Alaya Gonzalez and 20-year-old Kylas Fagbemi. Police say the 28 others injured were mostly teenagers ranging in age from 13 to 19. Couldn't believe the numbers. You know, it was frightening. Baltimore police say at least two shooters were involved and are working to determine whether more people were firing. Monday morning officials say they have yet to determine a motive and are still figuring out if victims were targeted or shot out indiscriminately. Mayor Brandon Scott says the investigation won't end until the shooters are under arrest. We won't stop until we find those responsible and hold them accountable. Baltimore police are searching a crime scene spanning several blocks and looking through hours of surveillance footage. Officials also urging community members to come forward with any relevant information that could help in the investigation. We have only touched some of the video that's out there. Everyone had, a, had their cameras working, had their phones working, and there's much more video out there. <laughs> As the city comes together to pray for the victims of this latest mass shooting, community leaders are asking for the violence to end. And as a community, once and for all, let's come together and stop this senseless killing. I'm Ivan Rodriguez reporting. New at 6 o'clock, what you're looking at is the first flying car prototype to be approved by the FAA. Well, the maker for the Model A vehicle, Aircraft, says it's the first flying vehicle that is drivable on public roads and can park like a normal car. It has vertical takeoff and landing capabilities and will be able to carry up to two people. Its range will be 200 miles on the road and 110 miles in the air. The company expects to sell each vehicle for $300,000. You can have it. I'm going to just stay <laughs> here. Let's go have on the on one. <laughs> <laughs> the FTC is working on a way to prevent fake reviews online. They proposed a rule that would ban fake reviews and suppress negative reviews and paying for positive reviews. Fake five and four star reviews are rampant on sites like Amazon and Google. Amazon in particular has been dealing with fake reviews on its third party marketplace for years, suing the administrators of Facebook groups who facilitated the purchase and sale of fake reviews. Well, still ahead, the plans to build a new biodiesel plant near one Pullman neighborhood now on hold. Why the company is pulling the plug and where the new proposed location nearby is going to be coming up. And fireworks might be fun for you, but a nightmare for your pets. What you can do to keep them calm next on 4 News Now. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app.
This week, Walker's Furniture is combining their anniversary sale with their 4th of July sale for double the discounts. Where the more you spend, the more you save, up to $760 off. Or you can take advantage of special five years no interest financing with no money down. So you can get that new living room furniture or stylish bedroom set you've been wanting and pay for it later. Making it the perfect time to furnish your life for less. During the 43rd 4th of July sale at Walker's. People who come to the Inland Northwest rave about its beauty. For those of us who live and work here, we couldn't agree more. From its iconic history to a ton of new beginnings, we have farm to table roots and access to nature right at our back door. And as a community member, BECU wants to honor those who work together to make life better for our region. Join us for the premier food and drink celebration, Crave, at the Spokane Valley Center Place, July 13th through the 15th. Proudly sponsored by BECU. Wildfires can strike at any time. 4 News Now Firewatch coverage keeps you safe on TV and on the go to protect your family. Tracking the largest local wildfire. Stay safe all fire season long on 4 News Now. Spokane and North Idaho's country leader. It goes like one. Major manufacturers and warehouses clearance of new 2023 inventory. Today and tomorrow, Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Over 100 hot tubs on display and everything must go. New 2023 inventory. Hot tubs starting at $29.95. All inventory 40 to 80% off. Come see the revolutionary swim spa in action and save up to 60%. Trade-ins welcome. Free delivery. We'll even haul away your old hot tub. Worry-free installation. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. The live quitting phenomenon. Yeah, I quit. Next in Sun Edition. You've heard of quiet quitting. This is live quitting. Making the announcement on social media. I can't say it. I don't know how to say it. Quitting your job as it happens. I quit. Is this any way to tell your boss you're out of there? <sighs> then, air quality concerns and 4th of July fireworks. Should we be worried? Next in Sun Edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6.30. Well, here's a live look over the summer carnival at Riverfront Park. The weather is good. You grab some cotton candy, maybe even go on the Ferris wheel. Saw it moving in the last live shot. There were a lot of, a lot of things going on out there. There's plenty of people enjoying that beautiful weather we have. And the big question is, is it going to stick around? Oh, we hope so. <laughs> Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker to find out if there are any major changes on the way. Oh, we have a lot more summer weather on the way. Here's a look at our high temperatures across the region today. We're at 82 in Spokane, 82 in Coeur d'Alene. 80 is our average high, so we were just about where we would expect to be. Stayed in the 70s in Sandpoint. Uh, only Lewiston, Moses Lake, the Tri-Cities making it into to the 90s today will be a little bit warmer tomorrow. We're cool down nicely tonight, however, in the 40s and 50s, 54 in Spokane, but only 45 in Moscow and Pullman, 49 in St. Mary's and 43 tomorrow morning in Colville. Our high temperatures tomorrow, about five degrees above average in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, 94 in Lewiston, also in the 90s in Moses Lake, Grand Coulee and Omak with mostly sunny skies and just a slight chance of some mountain showers in the afternoon. There is one element that is not especially welcome, and that is some wildfire smoke creating a hazy uh, sunshine tomorrow, not the bright blue skies that we've had the past several days. Again, that high of 85, five degrees above average and should be nice weather for fireworks tomorrow night. I'll be back to talk more about that wildfire smoke from Canada, where it's coming from and how it may impact your air quality in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. Well, according to data from Paw Boost, the 5th of July is actually the biggest day of the year for lost pet reports. Our Allison Martinez shares how you can keep your pets safe and accounted for on the 4th of July. Holidays can be some of the most exciting times for people, but one of the scariest times for animals. That's why there are a few key things you can do to make all the difference for your pets. 
Every 4th of July, shelters fill with lost and injured pets. The loud firework explosions can be scary for many animals, causing them to run away. The noise is very frightening to them. They don't really understand what's going on. There may have been a noise aversion in their past. So perhaps keeping them indoors away from the sound is really helpful. Dr. Jocelyn Wood of the Mount Spokane Veterinary Clinic says that if your pet does run away, it's important that they have proper identification. Make sure your animals are identified. So um, a collar that has a tag with their name, phone number, also a microchip is a really good idea. One of the most underestimated pet dangers from the holiday is a delicious 4th of July barbecue item getting into the wrong paws. You know, just leftover food, barbecue food, they can get pancreatitis, or if they were to ingest like a corn cob or um, bones, we see a lot of problems with that. So just being really careful not to let them get into leftovers. This Independence Day, keep your animals in mind while celebrating. For any information about your pets, you can contact Scraps or you can go to our website, kxly.com. Reporting in Spokane, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now. So sweet, and as we're celebrating 4th of July, another reminder that all the City of Spokane Library branches and aquatic centers will be closed, but the splash pads are going to stay open. And if it's your usual garbage day, pickup will be delayed until the 5th. That is a good reminder on that. One of the best parts of the 4th of July is fireworks. If the safety risks that come with them aren't clear, take a look at this montage of mannequins showing how dangerous fireworks can be if they're not used properly. That doesn't look safe at all. Mm -mm. If you're lighting fireworks, make sure they're legal in your city and read the instructions and follow safety measures. A plan to bring a biodiesel plant the size of three Walmarts to Pullman is off the table after immense pushback from neighbors living next to the proposed location. Our Jordan Smith joins us from Pullman. In that neighborhood, the plant would have been developed right next to. Well, I'm standing in the subdivision where that biodiesel plant was proposed to be built next to. And just for some context, this is how close that field is to these houses just several hundred yards away. That proposal was made months ago, and members of this neighborhood were adamantly against it. They picketed and protested, voicing their concerns to City Hall and to the Port of Whitman, who would have acquired this land and leased it to the biodiesel company AgTech OS. But after months of pushing back, AgTech OS backed out, citing the negative feedback they had received from the community, who was concerned about pollution, odors, and plummeting property values. We didn't have any idea what the effects of having something so close would be for us, our grandkids coming to visit. And with AgTech OS pulling out of that location, the neighborhood is breathing a sigh of relief. It was a big relief. Everyone kind of you know, just we're very excited. But the company is taking another shot at building this biodiesel plant in the Palouse, just outside of Pullman city limits. At coming up at six, the location that they have in mind, when that plant could be operational, and what the neighbors are now saying about this plan. In Pullman tonight, Jordan Smith, Four News Now. A woman was hit and killed by a car in Colbert over the weekend. It happened on North Division just south of East Handy Road. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office says the driver tried to swerve out of the way once she noticed the woman who was crossing the road that had no street lights. The driver and passenger of the car stayed and cooperated with investigators. The Sheriff's Office says at this point in the investigation, they do not believe speed or driver impairment were factors in this crash. One of the best local prep basketball players announced where she's going to be playing her college ball. Coming up in sports, Alex Crescenti tells us where she's headed. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Kootenai Heart Clinics. From the very beginning, we've been taught safety is very important. It's an act of love. When we're on the road, Every action we take gets everyone to a safer place. Each of us can make a difference. Slow down. Ride sober. Get endorsed. Get training. Alone, we are strong. Together, we are stronger. And together, we get there. Tonight, who's end game material and whose game is about to end? Seems like Brayden is here for spring break. This is an engagement at the end of this. I'm not here for spring break, so go home. 
Welcome to Generation Gap. Thursday. What is secretariat? A secretary? That's a woman? Kelly Ripa hosts the comedy game show where nobody acts their age. Juniors and seniors work together to flex their pop culture knowledge for big prizes and bigger fun. Who is this mister? Mr. Rockstar? Mr. T is going to be very upset with all of us. New Generation Gap, Thursday on ABC and stream on Hulu. My late father-in-law lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had AMD. I didn't know it then, but it can progress to GA, an advanced form of the disease. His struggle with vision loss from AMD made me want to help you see warning signs of GA, like straight lines that seem wavy, blurry or missing visual spots that make it hard to see faces, like this one, or trouble with low light that makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawon'twait.com. Next ET, we unlock our ET vault to spotlight Tom Cruise with never-before-seen interviews. I'm trying to deliver for you, okay? A special ET. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. Open drug use outlawed in Spokane, but more than 100 arrests later. Has anything changed? 4 News Now goes back on patrol with Spokane police. Will the new law ever make a difference? What are cameras caught in just a few short hours? Wednesday on Good Morning Northwest. A fast-moving wildfire in southwest Washington burned 10 homes and triggered immediate evacuations along the Columbia River Gorge. Some people reminded of fires in the past as families made their way to safety. Unfortunately, it's the same thing another year. It's what we have every year, it seems like. Yeah. Just knowing that she got out safe and everything else can be Aww. replaced. I love you. The Tunnel 5 fire is threatening 250 homes. Look at this. What you're looking at Ooh. is the moment a six-year-old dropped 40 Ooh. feet from a zip line in Mexico. Yeah, it's tough to watch. The harness failed, sending the boy plummeting. Thankfully, he fell into a pool where a tourist rescued him. Mm. He didn't suffer any major injuries. His parents plan on suing the ride operator for what they say was poor training. Mm. Oh, my goodness. That is terrifying. Well... On to more pleasant topics, our weather. It is going to be beautiful weather for the 4th of July with one possible exception. We have mostly clear skies tonight. Beautiful evening, mid-80s for the 4th. Not too hot. Nice, warm, sunny weather. It is going to be hazy sunshine. I'll explain in just a moment with the slight chance of some mountain showers and thunderstorms. Here's a look at where that haze is coming from. We still have these major fires. Uh, burning in the Canadian boreal forest and all of that wildfire smoke is starting to filter to the south on a northerly flow. However, it is coming in fairly high in the atmosphere, so may not have much of an impact on our air quality, thank goodness. Uh, right around Idaho, Washington, Montana, I don't even want to say this aloud. Everybody knock on wood when I say this. It has been a fairly quiet start to the fire season. And yes, thank you, thank you, keep knocking. Ugh. But uh, boy, they have burned across Canada more than 20 million acres. And because of the isolated and very wild terrain in which these fires are burning, there's uh, difficult to uh, combat them. We may just have to wait until the snow flies until they are out. So we will be dealing with uh, occasional wildfire smoke from Canada coming in on that northerly flow through the summer. Air quality right now across the region is in great shape. We are in the good range. Right now it looks like it may sneak into the moderate range tomorrow and that can happen anyway on the 4th of July with all the fireworks around the region. The uh, debris that that creates can have an impact on our air quality. Uh, but 
uh, in terms of any major problems from this wildfire smoke with air quality, it does not look like that is going to be a problem. We're just going to see that haze on the horizon reminding us of a much bigger problem going on to our neighbor, uh, for our neighbors to the north. Air quality right now, just a few spots in the moderate range, mainly north of the Canadian border. Meanwhile, we do have a fire weather warning until 11 o'clock tonight for the Western Columbia Basin, Waterville Plateau, and Okanagan High, uh, Valley. Relative humidity, very low. We are in the teens in most locations. Taking a look at our forecast radar, very dry conditions, but we do have a slight chance to see some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Here's noon tomorrow up in Bonner and Boundary Counties, also in extreme portions of northeastern Washington as the system moves by to our east. That should be all figured out by fireworks time with dry conditions and light winds. Your fireworks planner, hazy conditions, but otherwise very pleasant. 82 at 7, 72 at 9 tomorrow, and 67 at 11 o'clock. Here is your planning forecast. We do have some hot weather ahead. They say summer doesn't start until after the 4th of July around here. We do have the summer continuing through the week after 4th of July into the 90s, Thursday and Friday. A change in our weather pattern to more of a westerly flow will help clear out some of that haze at the end of the work week, Aaron. Chris, thank you. It's a kind of a debate going around right now. A lot of people are weighing in. It's really important. Does ketchup go in the fridge or do you just leave it in the pantry or maybe just on the counter? Mm. Yes, so Chris, Chris says fridge. Chris says fridge. I was always taught to read the labels <laughs> and the no labels. My dad was a food safety <laughs> expert. So okay. Do what the label says. I always did. Yeah, put it in the refrigerator. But I will admit I like warmer ketchup that's at the restaurants. We have restaurants leave it on the table all day. Right. Which get, you know, leads to the question, where does it have to go? What does the bottle say? Well, ketchup maker Kraft Heinz recently weighed in on the issue, saying in a tweet, ketchup goes in the fridge. They put a period after every word to really highlight the uh, importance. And yes. then three exclamation Four points. Emphasis. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't all caps. <laughs> a day later, the company asked the public, or I, that was, you know, what they wanted to find out was a fridge or pantry. Over 13,000 responded. More than 63% said the fridge. Nearly 37% said they preferred their ketchup in the cupboard. Well, speaking of ketchup, the largest poultry producer in the United States, Tyson Foods, plans to start giving its chickens antibiotics once again. Tyson says new labeling will be seen on packages of chicken by the end of the year. The new labels will say no antibiotics important to human medicine. That's a standard recognized by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the World Health Organization, which allows for the use of antibiotics not crucial to the treatment of human diseases. Tyson says about half of U.S. poultry farmers use some form of antibiotics to help keep chickens healthy. Well, 4th of July, fun for fireworks. Also a great time to do a little online shopping because there's a lot of discounts out there. I've already seen the emails pouring in. This one won't be the only opportunity this summer to save big, though. ABC's Ariel Rochef has more. This 4th of July, huge bargains are blasting off with retailers slashing prices on everything from home goods to gadgets to clothes. The first thing you need to zero in on are your home goods. So if you are in the market for a mattress, this is the time to purchase it because all of that new inventory of mattresses are coming in. Up to 75% off at Gap and an extra 60% off sale items at J. Crew and 30% off at Target. A lot of that summer merchandise has been on the shelf since April. So that is going to be discounted between 50 to 60% and it, for some department stores up to 70%. In the mood for some furniture, Raymore and Flanagan has up to 35% off everything. Lowe's offering 30% off on grills and up to 50% off on patio furniture. But the biggest summer sale showdown between retailers happening after the holiday. And when you can always join free... Target, Amazon, and Best Buy promising Christmas in July. And experts say this is the time to snag your best deals on tech. 
what we're really seeing discounts on are Apple MacBooks. So MacBooks are starting at $799, but we're also seeing discounts on AirPods and also Apple Watches. For Target's loyalty members, Target Circle promoting seven days of savings after July 9th. Best Buy's Black Friday in July happens the 10th through the 12th. The store teasing exclusive member deals on TVs, laptops, headphones, and video game products in store and online. And Amazon Prime Day kicking off for 48 hours on July 11th. This year introducing invite-only offers for Prime members. Expect Amazon-branded devices like Kindles and Alexas to be discounted up to 60% off. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Download the 4 News Now app today. I'm looking for a nice spot to spend the summer. Spend it with the summer of me. In the summer. The summer of bonus episodes of MASH. One that will summer of all new episodes of Collector's Call. The summer of drama. You here for the summer? Sci-fi. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Westerns. The summer. And the summer of comedy. You can catch the summer reruns. Watch the summer of me over the air on MeTV 4.2. Step into your best life. Next live, we celebrate 4th of July. Please welcome the grill master himself, Mark Consuelo. Thank you. With Nina Dobrev and Jake Shears. Watch live tomorrow at 9, right after GMA. Get ready for a brand new season of Collector's Call with all new collections. Sundays on MeTV, over the air on KXLY 4.2, Comcast 114 and Spectrum 9, 17 and 181. When I was told I had a brain tumor, my life disappeared in a moment. I feared for my future, but even more, I feared for the ones I love. How would they move on without me? But when my doctor told me about the Gamma Knife of Spokane, everything changed. I can get my brain tumor treated in just one day and continue living the life I love. Because of Gamma Knife, I have hope. Bring them on. If only there was a place in the morning to start my day. With a smile, somewhere to help me get in the know. A place as spectacular as, well, me. Hmm, I think we might know a place, right, guys? Bring your friends. Oh, wait, there is. Good morning, America. GMA, 7A, every day. Boom. 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 Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, America. How are you? Boom. Now that's how you start your day, people. Save thousands on the new Revolutionary Swim Spa at a one-time sale. Today and tomorrow, Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Exercise with low impact. Swim the entire year and stay in shape. Teach your kids to swim. Unwind and save thousands. Avoid the expense and maintenance involved with a pool. Swim, exercise, and relax in your new aquatic exercise swim spa. Installation and one day only. New 2023 inventory. 18-month interest-free financing. Millions of dollars of inventory must be sold. Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Free admission. Free parking. Call 833-SPA-SALE. Take a day off, skip Mondays, and be water-wise this summer. On Sunday, Seattle starting pitcher Luis Castillo found out he was the lone player representing the Mariners in next week's All-Star Game, and he followed it up by helping his team to a series win against the league's best, Tampa Bay. But one of the storylines coming out of that game was former All-Star Ty France. In the third inning, France was running to third base after Teoscar Hernandez hit a little dribbler that got out of the infield, but he collides with the Rays' third baseman, Isaac Paredes. Both players are going to go down and stay there for a while. Unfortunately for Paredes, he would have to leave the game after that hard hit. Now, originally France was called out on the play, but the manager, Scott Service, had a keen eye and knew his guy was in the right. Uh, once the ball clears the infield, then it becomes obstruction. He's in the way of Ty trying to score on that ball. Um, so that was, they got the call right, big call in the game, but it was right. You know, the ball had, had cleared the infielder. He had an opportunity to catch it. And it was already by him. You know, those are two pretty big guys uh, that run into each other at full bore like that. I kind of liked it. You know, it was a little football-ish. <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe Ty got the better end of the deal. I know their player left the game, but Ty just got the wind knocked out of him. 
And checking in on the Mariners score, they are just underway in the Bay Area, a three game series against the Giants. We're going to have the highlights and post game coverage coming up for you on night side and closer to home. Coeur d'Alene basketball standout Tegan Colvin announced today she is committing to play for UNLV. This past season, she was named the Max Preps Idaho High School Girls Basketball Player of the Year as a junior. Colvin led the Vikings to a 24 and 2 record that included a state championship as she averaged more than 18 points per game. She chose the runner Rebels over Washington State, Michigan, Wisconsin and BYU. And another local prep star made his big announcement today as East Valley High School quarterback Diesel Wilkinson announced his commitment to the University of Idaho. Wilkinson received a scholarship offer from the Vandals less than a couple weeks ago and will now be playing for coach Jason Eck in the Big Sky Conference in the 2021 season he was named the 2A GSL all-purpose MVP and last season he made the honorable mention list and let's head across the pond first day of Wimbledon and 43 year old Venus Williams in her 24th appearance in the championships a scary moment though in the first set against Alina Slitovina as she slips and hyperextends her knee the trainers would come out and check her out but she would play on However, the brave effort isn't enough as Slitovina takes the first round matchup 6-4, 6-3, and we will now have to see if the seven-time Grand Slam champion is going to make an appearance next year. Of course, we know her little sister Serena retired last year, so Venus represents the last of a generation in sports in general. For News Now, we'll be right back. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Drug use outlawed in Spokane. I don't know if I'm being arrested. Sorry. Yeah, you're under arrest. But more than a hundred arrests later, has anything changed? Four News Now goes back on patrol with Spokane Police. Will the new law ever make a difference? And what is compassion really costing us? They use my loading dock as a restroom. What are cameras caught in just a few short hours? And that's that's fentanyl you're smoking right now, yeah? Yes. Derek Dice reports Wednesday on Good Morning Northwest. So you want somewhere to play, we got you. A nice, relaxing stay, we got you. Wanna be entertained, we got you. Wanna play golf all day, we got you. Go to Lake Casino, the winning is just the beginning. So you're looking for something to do, we got you. Want some tasty food, we got you. Heard you wanna do some shopping, we got you. The live music is always popping at the Go to Lake Casino. Looks like our surgery patient is feeling better today. Yep, I didn't need any oxy today. I thought I'd do a little surgery on the drain. Huh. Do you need your pain pills anymore? No. Well, we should get them out of the house. Their places to drop them off. Yeah, okay. Actually, I can do that right now. And I will look at the drain. Prevent opioid misuse. Find safe medication return options near you. Welcome to Generation Gap. Thursday. What is secretariat? A secretary? That's a woman? <laughs> Kelly Ripa hosts the comedy game show where nobody acts their age. <laughs> Juniors and seniors work together to flex their pop culture knowledge for big prizes and bigger fun. Who is this mister? Mr. Rockstar? Mr. T is going to be very upset with all of us. <laughs> New Generation Gap. Thursday on ABC and stream on Hulu. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mystiqua Hotel and Casino in Chewila. Coming up on Nightside, why seeking cheaper cosmetic surgery abroad could have deadly consequences. And the latest on the bloody shooting in Baltimore that left two dead and 28 injured. 
It is going to be a warm, sunny day tomorrow with a high of 85 degrees, a haze on the horizon, an uncomfortable reminder that we are right in the thick of wildfire season, but also a good reminder to be careful with fireworks. I understand all of our, most of our fires in Washington were caused by mm. fireworks that we've had so far. That tells you something. And I've heard them too. I mean, they are definitely happening even people before the light, 4th of July. People are lighting them off. Be careful. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.